Okay, um, the grand final will be contested over a single puzzle. As with the other rounds, the placings will be decided first by how many clues are correctly solved, and second by speed of finishing. A reminder that the first place solver will win a thousand pounds, and the title, more importantly, the title <laughs> of Times Crossword Champion 2019. Are all our grand finalists ready? The very best of luck to all three of you. You may begin. Championship trophy, the Times National Crossword Champion 2019 is Mark Goodlett. I'd just like to say this about Mark's performance in the final. I decided as an experiment that I would sit at the back of the room and do the crossword final crossword. And I have to tell you, despite the fact that I have solved this puzzle several times to test it, when Mark held his paper up, I still had three answers to that. Hello, and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Uh, today, I'm going to have a look at a classic Sudoku that's been sent in to us by uh, Michelle Vichventer. It's from the Austrian daily newspaper De Standard. So, um, Michelle says quite an interesting puzzle and a bit tricky to get into. So let's see how it goes. I've saved it into our software. You can play that, therefore, on the link below the video. Um, and let's just have a crack at it. So I've got an interesting pattern over here, and that, too, can only go in a couple of different squares in this box, therefore. Um, just looking for various pairs. There's a couple of ones there, uh, two eights in the central boxes there and there, restrict the eight. Um, fours have to be in one of those two cells, and sixes in those two. Um, oh, eight and eight down here. I know this looks like a bit of a scattergun approach, and people sometimes say, why aren't we a bit more methodical with what we're looking for and going through every number in turn or just just doing something a bit more scientific but I'm always very focused on solving as quickly as I can and this method frankly ah should have spotted this a while ago this method just seems to help with that so these two nines are very useful together in how they act on this box up here and they rule out almost all the cells, and we can put in a 9 there for sure. So that gives us a 9 here as well. That 4 is now fixed there, and look how that operates on this box up here as well. That 4 and that 4 are ruling out those three cells. So in fact, we've now got 1, 9, and 4 immediately restricted into those three cells in the top right box. And that looks very helpful here. So that gives us a 5 here. We know 5, 3, and 8 must be in these three cells. So these ones have to be 3 and 8. Um, I'd be surprised if that isn't significantly helpful. We've got a 1, 2, 7 triple now here. 4, 9, 5, 8. Oh, this is a 7. And that's just by, because it's become a naked single once that 4 went in. We've got 3, 6, 4, 8, 5 in the column. 2-1 in the row, 9 in the box, that's a 7. 
So now we've got one, two, nine as a triple there, and that's fixed the four. It can't be there anymore, so it must now be there. That fixes the six, and that's immediately fixed the eight and five. So this central box, which started with no digits in it, has suddenly got pretty well filled. Um, six there as a naked single. Got a one, two pair there. This is a three. And the puzzle, I suspect Michelle didn't didn't find that triple early on because that really seems to have been the key to, to breaking this apart. Um, I mean, we're not there yet, but that's been a significant help. Eight is interesting. Look, eight there, eight there, eight there. And one of these is an eight because of that double. So that gives us this eight. Um, and that's very nice as well. Um, now, where else can we go? Really, I should probably be following up on some of the things I've found eight in one of those. No, we can't resolve eights yet. Um, three must now be in one of those two. Six is in one of those. Two, seven, six, three, eight, six, four, five, nine. We can rule out two from there and seven from there. It's not particularly helpful. And one from there. Ooh, what am I missing now? Five and one of those two. Um, five and one of those two. Are five's more helpful than I'm realizing. No, I don't think so. Um, I've gone quite fast at this point, and now it's slowing down a bit annoyingly. It does often happen, but oh, that can't be a six anymore. See where else we can pick something off. Six, as I say, must be up there. Eight, three, two. Five also must be in the top cells of that box. Three. Ah, look, now those two threes, they are resolved again by this. 3 8 pair, that can't be a 3. So 3 goes there. That gives us the 3 down at the bottom. That's putting a 3 in one of these two cells. And then we know from earlier there must be an 8 in one of those two. So now 5 is not possible there. That fixes the 5. Um, that gives us 5 and 9 as a pair here because of this row. And we can resolve those with the 9 above. That fixes that 5. That one's 5. So four in that row, four in one of those two cells. One, three, eight, five, six, seven, four. Nine in one of those two. Six, five, two. Nine also in one of those two. Ah, two now. That two and that two are operating on this box to give us a two in that column which removes that possibility. So two goes there, and we get a two in one of these. That puts two in one of those. Oh, no, this box is still not resolved because there's two possibilities in every cell. Um, eight, two, four, three, six, five. So that can't be five anymore. Six, Oh, I thought we were really there now. I'm not quite there yet. So the puzzle's still holding me at bay, at least. I suspect it won't be holding all of you at bay at this point. Four, six, ah, oh, this two or nine possibility has been resolved now. So we've now got eight, seven here. That eight resolves three, eight there, and three, eight down there. 3, 3, one of those is a 3, so this is the 9, and that fixes this bottom box. Yeah, that's all done. Now we can disambiguate some of the pairs we had elsewhere. So 1 there, 6, 5, 
four, two, and seven. Four there. One, nine, seven there. A one there. And this has now come apart. So I wonder if, uh, if that tip about the triple at the top was really all that Michelle was after there because uh, I think the puzzle has, you know, it's a very neat puzzle in that it required a tiny bit of insight to get through it. There we go. That's uh, the standards classic Sudoku solved. Um, do let us know if you enjoy. I mean, I think a lot of people are looking for tips on classic Sudoku puzzles. So we've been doing a lot of variants recently. We'd be very interested to know if you want more of the variants um, or more of the classics. Um, and indeed, of course, there's uh, going to be the occasional crossword content going up and other puzzles too. So thanks very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing, obviously, if you have. And especially if you're sponsoring us on Patreon, we're very grateful for that. And indeed, a quick reminder about our apps, the uh, slightly older Sandwich Sudoku, available on Android, App Store, and Steam. And more recently, and more appropriate for this video, the classic Sudoku app by Cracking the Cryptic. Do look for it. It's, it's good fun. Thanks very much for watching. Hope to see you again soon on Cracking the Cryptic, and bye for now.